everybody today we're going to talk about two three trees as you may know two three trees are very similar to balanced binary search trees they are a data structure where every internal node has either two or three children so maybe you have heard of them when you learned about bee trees for example a bee tree of order three is an actual two three tree so you may ask yourself why are two three trees a relevant data structure well, basically, they are very similar to binary search trees, but at the same time, they try to solve the problem of unbalanced trees. Imagine you have a binary search tree to store your data. Well, the worst case scenario of this binary search tree is that all data is entered in order. So your binary search tree will actually look like this. So this tree looks more like a linked list. Well, you see, the problem here is when searching in a tree that looks like this, it will be very slow and it will take a lot of wasted memory. So this is what two, three trees are trying to solve. Basically, they are used to guarantee a time complexity of logarithm of n when it comes to insert, search, or delete. All right, so let me show you an example of insert in a two, three tree. All right, so here are some rules when it comes to inserting into a two, three tree. So every internal node is a two node or a three node. All leaves are at the same level and all data is kept in sorted order. So here's an example of a two node and here's an example of a three node. All right, now let's try to insert these following numbers into a two, three tree. Now, since the tree is empty, our initial root node is null. The first value we are going to insert, which is 50, is going to require a new node to be created for it. And that is going to be our new root node. So now uh, let's insert 50 into our new root node. 50. And since it's a 2, 3, 3, I'm going to draw it like that. All right. So the next number we're going to insert is 62. Now remember that we need to follow the rules of the binary search tree when it comes to insertion. So if you don't know how to insert into a binary search tree, please look at my previous video here on my channel. So since 62 is bigger than 50, we're going to add it right here. Okay, now we're going to try to add 69. Well, 69 is actually going to go right there, but it doesn't have any more space. So we actually need to perform a split. So the split is going to require the creation of a new root node. So basically what we're going to do, we take the middle element here and then we push it into the new root. So we're going to have 62, then we're going to leave 50 here, and 69. And yes, 62 is bigger than 50, and 62 is smaller than 69, which according to the rules of the insertion for binary search tree is correct. Okay, now we need to insert 43. Where do we go? Well, 43, it's smaller than 62, but it's also smaller than 50. So what we're going to do, we're going to swap it. So it's going to be 62, 43, 50, and 69. All right, so now we need to insert 31. 31 would normally go right here, but since we don't have any more space, we need to take the middle element and push it into the root node. So we're going to have... 43, 62. And then we're going to have 31, 50, and 69. Now we have to insert 25. We copy this. Then 25 is smaller than 31. And we copy the rest. Now we need to insert 15. Well, 15 would actually go right here, but it doesn't have any more space. And we're going to push the middle element into the root. But in the root, we don't have any more space again. So we're going to push the middle element again into a new root. Twenty-five. 62, 15, 31, 50, and 69. Now we need to insert 85. Well, 85 
is bigger than 43, it's also bigger than 62, and it's also bigger than 69. So we're going to actually, let's insert it right here. So 85 is going to go down there. Now we need to insert 99. Well, 99 would actually go right there, but it doesn't have any more space, and 85 will actually be pushed into the new node. So 43, we copy the rest, All right, so there we go. Now we have one last element to insert into our tree, and that is 108. So 108 is bigger than 43, it is also bigger than 85, and it is also bigger than 99. So 108 would actually go right there. All right, so when it comes to practical uses of 2-3 trees, uh, they are basically used for a Linux kernel, or for complexity fair scheduler. If you would like to see me explain that, please leave a comment down below and I will do that in the next video. All right, so this was it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.